You know anybody that's got any ribs? Well, there's a few teams around here that's got some ribs. I haven't seen any. <laughs> oh, wow, look at here. We'll look around and see if we can't find some. <laughs> now, this fella here is trimming up these ribs. He's got his big, big, big pack. Uh, where'd you get those ribs from? Did you get them from sales? Oh, okay. You mind if we watch you trim them up a little bit? Your team is unknown militia. Unknown barbecue. Unknown barbecue. Uh, unknown barbecue. I'm sorry. Unknown militia is the uh, it's the uh, uh, all the all the barbecue people that you know that kind of hang out with us. Now, when you trim it, you're trying to take off like the major pieces of fat. That's well, I'm a, I cut this little skirt off of here, and uh, basically, we'll still cook it, we'll take some of the fat off of it, but uh, those will end up being riblets. Then we'll cut the uh, this brisket bone off. Okay. That's like a full slab of ribs. Yes. It has the belly ribs too in it. Yeah, yeah. So this is a full slab of spare ribs. It's a larger cut than your standard. Are you going for the membrane now? I know what I do is I'm gonna square this up. So okay. Get good consistent ribs out. Of okay. Of so I find this bone up here. There's a cartilage right at the end of the bone. You find the longest bone and you go right in between. You just draw your imaginary line. Wow, that is too cool. And then it gives you a nice consistency, mainly for your presentation. You get this little mud of fat off of here. Basically, if you start with something that's straight, in theory, it'll end up straight. That's what you hope for. Right? Yeah. And you're in, you'll usually lose your end bone. You're going to end up cutting about right in here is, is, is the good spot that you really want to work with. Once they're cooked. Yeah. Once you get, uh, once you start getting down here, you start getting to the thinner stuff and it's inconsistent. But cutting it even like this, your whole rib will cook consistent. So you'll have pretty much the same thing from start to finish. Is that a, a more of a competition? Yes. Uh, yes. That's, that's like, competition ready. Right. Okay. Yeah. Which here lately we're getting a mixture of good and bad so you kind of got to pull out the bad ones. How many pounds of ribs came in that pack? That's probably a 15 or 20 pound pack, isn't it? Um, no, it's probably about, what was this, about, uh, yeah, that's probably about 25 pounds right there. Wow. Yeah, these are the larger cuts. They're called them mediums. So you can them with, uh, Man, that's got a major amount of meat on it right there. Yeah. But we use we use all this for venting. That's what we sell as riblets. We'll cook them up just like the regular rib. And we'll come in and cut about quarter inch slices out of it. Turn out real good. We use most of it. Some of it, you know, you'll find some broken bones and stuff like that. Okay, folks, stick with us now. We're going to do it one more time. If you've been wondering how to trim your ribs up, we got it right here. So what's your name, sir? My name's Jason Wickham. Okay, where are you from? Winter Haven. Winter Haven, okay. Kind of long as bone. Sometimes you'll have short bones. We'll just come out a little further beyond that so we can keep it nice and consistent. So you don't want to cut it too small.
Once again, that's the Rebel. Once it gets to this point, they will remove the membrane and any kind of. A lot of times, under the membrane, you'll have this big clumps of fat. So you want to get that off. What that does is, when you take that off, your your seasonings will get down into the meat. If that membrane's there. If you've ever ate a rib and you bit it and you had this look like a sheet of paper coming off with it, that's the membrane. So not only the membrane will inhibit the. Uh, Rub, but then the fat will too. That layer of fat. Yeah, a lot of it, a lot of times when you're smoking it, it might not get up to the temperature for it all to render away. So you'll be left with a, a mouthful of uh, <laughs> a surprise. So now you're going for the end bone to square it up. Yeah, well, see that? That's useless. You know, I'll come down here and kind of square it up just to just for consistency and cook. And then anything that's hanging over, kind of clean it off. And if you want to cook competition with a spare rib, you can get to that point, you got a good start. So, so we got a tag team crew going here. He did his part. Now we're coming for the membrane. And I tell you folks, they have uh, processed a whole bunch of different racks of ribs. We got a whole two platters full over here. So how many racks of ribs will you cook and then pick out your uh, turn in? Normally cook eight for competition. Eight. And uh, we'll normally turn in eight bones. So we like to have a good selection. We normally have a group of people hanging around around turning times. So they know we cook extra, they're ready to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so you got a few tables that might become the grazing table. Yeah, pretty much. Wow, that's pretty. That really came off nicely, didn't it? Yep, some are nice to you, some are not. Get yourself over now. This ain't about the barbecue, my friend. This is about this right here. This is my buddy from work, Ron. Hey, hey Ron. Good. Hey, man. This is it. That's pretty much the gist of it. That want to be a vending rib. Yeah, I won't trim it. If it's a vending rib, if it didn't make the cut, I'll normally leave. Leave it longer. I won't mess with the ends. Now the vending ribs a little bit thinner. Didn't quite have as much meat on. Is that? Well, it didn't have the consistency. It's, uh, what I'm looking for is nice consistency through this portion of it. Okay. So if you've got, see, you can, um, oh, you can kind of feel the bones. If it's not really, it's kind of thin. Here you go. Where's your button? Okay. Yeah. So the 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 quality of meat. It's just about the same all the way across this one. Right, the appearance. But this, this one here, I mean, the quality of meat right here in the middle just totally gets different. It'll be very good to eat, but what it what will cause is when you're looking for that perfect bite, um, when the judges are, you know, judging it, this is going to bite different than this will. So if you turn in eight good ribs and they and three of them are bad, well, you'll see it in your score. So you want to give them something consistent across there because mm -hmm. this could be... You know, this could be a winning rib and that not. So you kind of, that's how we call them. Woo wee! Now I tell you, the FBA's got the best entertainment and they got the most open, honest people that'll help you. That was some big time information. From what's your name again? Jason Whitman. Jason Whitman. Now you've been looking for him. Uh, what's the name of your barbecue team? Unknown Barbecue. Unknown Barbecue. And uh, they're in the FBA, the Florida Barbecue Association. And it's turning out that uh, the far Florida Florida Barbecue Association has got got it hot. It's good down here. Uh oh, what 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 are you doing over here? We're just just hanging a couple of banners up. That's all. Oh oh, uh, just just a little something something. Uh, now what do you feel about him uh, bringing that over in your tent? He's with us. That's ours. Oh that oh oh, you're with them. Yeah. Oh okay. See the chart. Smoking on the Swanee.
Uh, I think uh, there might have been a, uh, three first place finishes there on that. Yeah, I think I got some more up right over here to hang up. Uh, 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 whoa. Well. That was our best turnout ever to date. So wow. That one stick. That's some good memories there. Well, you know what? That means that they not only showed you how to do it, they know what they're talking about. That's big. Let's take one look at this uh, pan of consistent ribs that are so pretty right here on this side. And wow, man, that's going to be stacking up good when you turn them boxes in. And look at the look at the meat on that one. I mean, that's just picture perfect. Martha Stewart's got to be around here somewhere. This is what we'd like to turn that into <laughs> at the end of tomorrow afternoon. Uh, whoa! Introducing Martha Stewart. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. We sure do wish you all a lot of luck and hope you can do it. And uh, where is Swan the Swan the Knee? Swanee River, Live Oak, Florida. Oh, okay. Live Oak. Well, can, congratulations. Hey, uh, by the way, can I get a couple of racks of the ribs to take with me? Uh, well, you can with the cook. <laughs> you don't want to eat the raw. <laughs> Okay, well this is Daryl from Barbecue Superstar saying thanks for stopping by.